it is your Ford game of the week on your view. Jinx at one and one and Union 0 oh and two. Mike Ziegenhorn alongside my buddy Rod Thompson. We're gonna talk a little bit and probably get to the national anthem, but we are at Union tonight instead of the campus of the University of Tulsa. Yes, Kelly Stadium has an outstanding game going on tomorrow. TU and OSU should be good. All right, we'll break this one down and we'll have the national anthem. Great rendition of the national anthem. Let's break this one down. Let's talk about the key players in tonight's game, Rod. First, let's look at Jinx, the visitors, and senior Will Cox. Oh, man, Will Cox, three-year starter for this Jinx Trojan team. He is the quiet leader, the hardest worker on the team. Outstanding student also, Zig, 31 ACT. He's a guy that Z Jinx needs to get going early on both sides of the football. And on the other side, he might be covering Union's player of the game, Kyler Pearson. Well, I know I can't cover him, Zig. This player is <laughs> outstanding. You talk about Pearson, you know, a Kansas commit. This guy's a complete player. Most consistent player on this team he is the playmaker coach Fred said before before the game we have to get this guy the football he's an outstanding player big play capability jinx have to contain him tonight if they want to get a win all right we've got the kickoff coming up next it's the 16th annual mid first bank backyard bowl live from union Tuttle stadium your ford game of the week The Ford Game of the Week is being brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Visit your best in Oklahoma Ford dealers for the best deals on Ford's full line of vehicles. Ford is the best in Oklahoma. Weoki Federal Credit Union, proud sponsors of the Weoki Kick for Cash. Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. Roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Your best you starts here. The Plaza at Town Square by McCaleb Holmes. Love where you live. And by Cox, bringing us closer. Our tradition for my football team is we dress up, shirt and tie. I had a tie, but I didn't know how to tie it. Usually I would have my dad help me, but he was deployed. I'm thinking, don't worry about it. My grandma should know. He says, can you tie a tie? And I'm like, no, but we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. I recognize them because they came into our store so much. Miss Bertha and Mr. Terrence, I'm like, of course, I'll, I'll help them out and show them how to tie a tie. It wasn't just the tie, it's what was in your heart. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Doing good, man. You got it. <laughs> Drive the new Ford Ranger today with 0% financing for 60 months plus 2,000 total savings. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. We are back at Union Tunnel Stadium. It looks like Union has won the toss and they have deferred to the second half. Mike Ziegenhorn and Rod Thompson with you on the 16th annual Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl. Man, what a difference a week makes. 95 a week ago when we kicked off Rod. I'm looking at the temperature right now. It tells me it's 77. Really? How about that? My prayers work. Yes. You know, it changed. Great job. It's coming weather. 
<laughs> hey, what are some of the keys to the game, Rob? Oh, well, we got them for you. Should be an outstanding matchup. You talk about the keys to the game in this matchup, talking to both coaches before the game. And when you look at it, confidence early, especially for both teams. This, both of these teams are very young. Both teams need confidence early. No turnovers. When you have young teams, both teams last week gave up some turnovers and limit the big play, especially in space for both of these teams. So look for these keys of the game to be key in this matchup, no pun intended there, in this matchup uh, between these two young teams, backyard bowl. Here we go again, Zig. We've had some good ones before. This one should be good also. Well, and a big key to this game is Jinx starting quarterback, number nine, Stephen Kittleman, will not be playing tonight. Knee injury in last week's loss to Bixby, a game in which he threw five interceptions where Rod talked about the turnovers. Uh, Jinx is going to have a very young, inexperienced player at quarterback tonight. And the Trojans are set to kick off. Max Pastman. And the whistle blows already as Kyler Pearson caught it, but I think, I don't think anybody was ready and he kicked it anyway. You mentioned about the youngness of both of these teams. Just hadn't seen that in this series in a long time. Yeah, and we, we definitely have it. You know, you talk about, you know, they always had some upperclassmen that were, I guess what you could call high level guys, you know, usually the sideline would be full of different uh, coaches checking out this game. So a lot of youth out here. And I think you'll go back and maybe circle this season in a couple of years because these two teams best football is definitely in, in front of them. All right, we're going to try it again. Jinx one and one, Union 0 and two. Both teams lost last week, as we mentioned in the open, first time since 1980. Both teams come into this game after losing the previous week, and that one is kicked out of bounds. And Union's going to start with great field position. Last week against Broken Arrow, their first half starting field position was around the 20-yard line, so they're already off to a better start tonight as far as field position goes in this game. They are led by their quarterback, the senior, number seven, J.D. Geneva, for the Redskins. And Union's going to make them re-kick. I'm surprised, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you one field position, but you do have Pearson and some exciting players back there along with Pearson. It's AJ Green, who, is, who has outstanding speed for this Union team, so they are a threat. A little bit of a disjointed start to this football game. <laughs> It's almost like they're out of practice. Okay, we didn't like the way he kicked it out of bounds. Let's start over again. So the sophomore, Max Paskin, will try it one more time. This one is high. And that one taken at the 20-yard line. Hole to the right side. Nice kick return, and Union will have decent field position. Right at about the 40-yard line. And First we talked, team for the Redskin offense. Me, we talked about confidence early, and for both teams on both sides of the ball, let's see what Union can get established offensively. It has some playmakers. What can that offensive line do to give their quarterback time in that pocket? J.D. Geneva, the starter for Union. Play action, first down. And he tries to run away, and he is sacked by James Pruitt. Pruitt doing a good job showing his closing speed right there. Coming up and making that play. Lost two on the first down carry. Pruitt, number 44. And that linebacker. linebacker. Play a little tight end also. Hand off to A.J. Green. Gets the corner. He may be gone. 20. One man to beat. Touchdown, Union. A.J. Green, 62-yard touchdown run on the second play of the game. A.J. Green is money right there. And was just about to say great coverage up front by Jinx. And you look, and this is what we talk about speed. He was able to turn that corner and square his shoulders up. And he's known as a guy who has outstanding speed. And he showed it that time 
with that play, and boy, they had him bottled up for a while, Zig, and he's able to turn that corner and turn on the Jets. A.J. Green getting it done for the Redskins. Stepping Forbes in to try the PAT. And that's the big play capability when you talk about Green and Pearson and what they bring to this Union team. Right down the middle. We played 43 seconds. And Green like... Take a look. Look at the coverage right here. You see white jerseys. Watch him turn the corner right here. That's speed right there. Now he squares up and nobody's going to catch him. But all you saw was white jerseys there. And he's able to turn that corner. Dude. Turn the corner and get to the end zone. A.J. Green. Been hearing a lot about this young man. Boy, he's looking as good as advertised right now. Mr. Green getting it done for the Redskins. Uh, Green, the team's leading rusher, came into the game 214 yards in the first two games. And like the rest of the Union offense a week ago, <laughs> was pretty much shut down. Redskins had one first down in that entire first half, and it came on the final play of the half on a defensive pass interference penalty against Broken Arrow. So a much better offensive start for the Redskins this week. For Jinx, after what happened last week against Bixby, that's not how you wanted the defense. To start, no, is it? you don't. You don't want to get that start. I mean, that game last week against Bixby, definitely not the norm when you talk about Jinx Trojan football. Didn't need that, but you know, talking to both coaches before the game, they talked about you know the youth of these teams, but they want to continue to get better and play with confidence. And one way you do that is not give up big plays. Not the way the Trojans would like to start this game. Stephen Forbes set to kick off. And his will go out of bounds. Don't see it very often in a game. We've already <laughs> seen it twice here in the first minute. So Jinx will start first and 10 from the 35. They do not make Union Reed kick. Keith Riggs in his second game, or second season at the helm for Jinx. And Will Cox at quarterback for Jinx. That's a curveball we didn't expect. We talked to the coaches before the game. And, you know, we kind of said, hey, you're going to have to do some different stuff. And Coach Riggs was like, well, we're just going to do with what we have. Well, that's what they got. And we talk about the all-purpose guy that gets it done. Will Cox, what can he do? Superman lines up that time the quarterback position. Hey, we had a premonition. That's why we highlighted it in the pregame, right? <laughs> that's why we talked about it. Cox is back there again with Grant Lord. Now he's going to keep it. Plenty of blocking up front. A nice run on first down. Because they got a first down in their first play of the game. Jinx is already across the field. So if you're Union, now what are you thinking? Oh my, you know, we've got to change what we're doing defensively, or do you do the same thing? Well, I think you definitely have to switch some things up because you, he's the playmaker for this team but you definitely didn't expect him at that quarterback position and one thing was jinx they give you so many formations coach fred talked about this coming into this game just trying to adjust for the different formations that they may see and cox carries across the 40 for a first half and what's interesting you think okay you're using a guy who's a running back first play of the game he throws a pass yes and now the next two plays have been run well it shows his athletic ability and then when you talk about somebody like him of you know what we would normally call him in a wildcat situation if he was at that quarterback but he's going to stay there but what this does for this young jinx team if they can continue to get a push up front they control tempo of the game 
They grow more comfortable, and their leader has the ball in his hands at all times. Cox, handoff right side. Big hole on that right side. Kobe Rogers, number three for Jinx with a nice run. And that's a nice run right there by Rogers. Look about that young man, the senior, take another look, getting a good push up front. He'll pick up some yards. If you jinx in this game, control tempo. Joseph calling JoJo Nichols on the tackle for Union after a gain of four on first down. It's second and six. Union scored second play of the game. Jinx with their first offensive possession. Will Cox at quarterback. Maybe some movement up front, no flag. Cox the keeper. Breaking tackles, he's gonna score. Will Cox, 35 yard touchdown, wow. And how about Cox, you need a quarterback? Call on Will Cox, he will get it done. He's willing his team, how about that? Come out that quarterback position. Players make plays, Zig. And he's up this young man, Will Cox, take another look. Get it right to him, watch him follow his blockers. Great vision, watch the cut back right here. Now turn on the wheels. It's the Cox. That's what you need. I got it, Coach Riggs. And their PAT is also good, and we are knotted up at seven. How about that guy? Will Cox getting it done. Watch the blocking up front. Boom, right there. 65 gets one, and he makes plays. Gonna look back, and he's going to get the pay dirt for the trouble. We did say this is the backyard bowl, didn't we? <laughs> we did first backyard bowl. <laughs> you know, we've been fortunate to do some great games between these two teams. As you take a little look at Will Cox there. High five and his teammates. Three years started, been a leader on this team. They say next man up. We know the really missing Stephen Kellerman. He's been groomed to be the quarterback, going to be the outstanding quarterback for this Jinx Trojan team. And of course, he goes out. We knew somebody would be back there. I just didn't expect Mr. Cox. Uh, just great job by Keith Riggs. No doubt. And the coaching staff at Jinx to recognize, OK, our starting quarterback's out. We can go with the young guy. No experience in a game like this, or let's mix it up and go with a senior. And that lets you know what kind of player Cox is. Just get it to your guys. Some simple game. Get it to your playmakers and let them make plays, Zig. So here we are, three minutes in, and it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Kick return to about the 25. Is Robon Banks number 12? Maybe it was 13. Avante Wilkins. Either way, Union will take over first and 10 at the 26 yard line. And JD Geneva back with quarterback. So two plays on the last drive for Union. Let's see what they do here on their second series. Quick pitch, Tyler Pearson trying to get outside. And Jinx is there defensively. Pearson thrown down. And he lost two yards. And that's a nice play that time. Making that play, and boy, you love the pursuit of Jinx right here. Watch him getting downhill. 75, getting his hands on him also. It's a nice play for the young Trojans. Tory Thrower also in there on the tackle. 75, Coleman Thurber, a sophomore for Jinx. 
Boy. And on second down, another short gain for Union. As J.R. Smith takes that one. You see Mac, Matt Ackley right there coming in and making the play. The third down right here. Third and long for Union. Geneva back to pass under pressure. Had a receiver open and threw it behind him. It was J.R. Smith. And that's a nice play right there. Not Geneva, but boy, great series right there by the Trojan defense. Linebacker James Pruitt put the heat on and Geneva had to get rid of it. Couldn't throw it where he wanted to. If he leads the receiver, they probably got a first down. There was a lot of green space out there. Jaden Patrick back deep for the Trojans. Calls for the fair catch. And makes it right around the 33, 34 yard line. And that's where Jinx will take over. When you get something like that for Jinx, look how it energized their defense. Oh, definitely puts Big Mo on your side. A little momentum with the offense doing well, with the defense stepping up after giving up that, that long touchdown run to Green. Let's see what they can come up with offensively. This Jinx team, this young man at the quarterback position, if they get a lead, an offensive line gets a good push. They can really control tempo of this game, work some clock, and continue to move the football. Hey, a new feature this year, the roller weight loss and advanced surgery first down. As Jinx starts a new drive, every successful drive begins when you make the first down. And on their first down to carry, Kobe Rogers takes it off the right side, a gain of a couple. Take your first step on the road to longer, healthier life with roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Second down for Jinx. Gain of two by Rogers. Here's Will Cox. Boxed in, but still able to roll forward and get positive yards. Yeah, and that's what he brings to the table right there. It didn't look like he had anything. And it bottled up, and he's able to make a play. Third and five for Jinx. If you're just tuning in, you're saying, why is Will Fox playing quarterback? Because Stephen Kittleman, the junior quarterback for Jinx, hurt his knee last week in the loss to Bixby. And there. Uh, Kind of running a pseudo wildcat tonight. Cox back to throw, has a wide open receiver. Bo Estes, the tight end, caught for a first down. And how about that play and the athletic ability? Man. <laughs> Cox getting it done again. I thought he was bottled up. Take another look. Just rolling out to the right, able to find his receivers. Outstanding catch by Estes and being able to take the hit. But again, moving the chains, and they've shown great balance offensively, Zig, running the football, passing the football. Gain of nine on the last play, first down for Jinx. Good defense by Union. Hand off inside, and the Redskins were there that time to squash it. Again, Rogers on the field. Jacob Rogers in on the play for the Redskins, number 44. Had some big plays last week against Broken Earth. Only had 14 points on the board all of last week at the BA Union game, Rod. We've already got 14 here in the first quarter. Second 12 after the two-yard loss. Cox again. No one to throw to. He's going to keep it. Hit in midfield and falls forward. Another nice game. <laughs> and that's what he brings to the table. I know it's early in this game, but we talked about 
you know, the magnitude of these games when these two teams play. And boy, if Will Cox can lead his team to a victory. <laughs> They were talking about, remember when you had to play quarterback? Yeah. Uh, just so smart. Not making something out of nothing. You know, I mean, not trying to create something out there. Third down into pressure again. This time he's pulled down at the line of scrimmage and to be fourth down. And that's a nice play by the Union defense. Great pursuit. Number 95, Josh Peoples. 55. Will Thomas. Gabriel Ford. Union. The union has called a timeout. We'll take a break with them. You're watching the Ford Game of the Week. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Our tradition for my football team is we dress up, shirt and tie. I had a tie, but I didn't know how to tie it. Usually I would have my dad help me, but he was deployed. And I'm thinking, don't worry about it. My grandma should know. He says, can you tie a tie? And I'm like, no, but we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. I recognize them because they came into our store so much. Miss Bertha and Mr. Terrence, I'm like, of course, I'll help them out and show them how to tie a tie. It wasn't just the tie, it's what was in your heart. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Doing good, man. You got it. <laughs> You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Welcome back to Union Tuttle Stadium. It's 7-7 in the 16th annual Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. Jinx and Union started out with a bunch of fireworks as the Redskins scored on their first play of the game. And Jinx had a nice drive and capped off by a Wilcox 35-yard touchdown run, and that's where we stand. And Jinx is now set to kick off, a punt rather, with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Punt taken by Pearson. And he rolls across up to about the 25 yard line. Next Thursday, Ford Game of the Week, we're going to be in Norman. The Moore Lions will be at Hog Collin Field to take on the Norman Tigers. The Moore Norman games are always a good time. Game time, 7 o'clock for Moore Norman. It's the Ford Game of the Week. Next Thursday night on your view, Channel 3, join our buddy Steve Marshall and Dion Amato down in North. And it's a new feature this year, the roller weight loss. And event surgery first down, take your first step on the road. The longer help your life with roller weight loss and advanced surgery. And on that first down, A.J. Green rolls to the right. Picks up maybe a yard on the first down third. Tyson Ward in there for the tackle. Brings up a second down for Union. Geneva hands off to Green again and met at the line of scrimmage. Green Hill. And that tackle makes it third down for Union. Good job by Hill. They have to contain Green. We've seen early what he can do.
third down. And eight, flags fly. It looks like Jinx may have jumped. No, they're gonna call offside or false start on Union. So five yards marked off against the Redskins and it'll bring up a third and long situation, third and 13. Eric Herring, your referee tonight. We've heard from him a couple of times. And here comes Jinx on the blitz. Geneva hit and he is picked off. Intercepted by Tyson Ward. Flags fly. It's gonna come back because they're gonna be a block in the back against Jinx. But Geneva hit as he threw the ball. And Ward gets into the end zone, but the officials are gonna talk. We're gonna talk about it, but what a play right there by Jinx. Let's see what they have to say. A lot of pressure up front by the Trojans. And the officials huddling around the referee, Eric Herring. Flag came flying from one of the, I think one of the, maybe the back referee or the back judge. Defense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, first down. So take another look at it, Rod, and look at the pressure on Geneva, and you can see what happened to the ball. Yeah, I know you see the interception. Oh, blocking the back right there. Pretty easy call. Probably wouldn't have got him anyway. Really into the end zone. Tyson Ward. He said his name a couple times tonight. So instead of the touchdown, Jinx does have the football. And they will take over at the 28-yard line. Good field position, 120 to go in the first. Cox hands it off to Rogers. No, he kept it that time. Still on the move. Breaking tackles, not refusing to go down. It took three union players to push him down, Rod. How about Will Cox introducing himself to all our viewers out there? I mean, stepping in, natural running back, now playing in quarterback position, and boy, he is putting it together for his team. Coming into tonight. Cox, 16 carries, 66 yards. He was the team's third leading rusher. And I talked to Don King early in the week, who does the radio, and he said, hey, by the end of the year, Cox is going to be the team's leading rusher. Maybe I should have read a little bit more between the lines. <laughs> Second down. Cox again, plenty of room outside. One thing you can see his running ability, he shows outstanding patience when he's running the football. Never looks like he's in a hurry, taking his time. Probing through, continuing to move the chains. And take another look, watch him, watch his patience right here. Now a little burst and gets out, good stiff arm to get away from the defender. Able to bring him down to the 19. Jaden Rose. Clock winding, 15 seconds to go in the first. Second and one. Cox, third straight carry, big hole, left side. Down inside the five, another Jinx first down. And that'll do it for the first quarter once they set the ball and roll the clock. They will not snap it again. They'll go to the other end. And one quarter in the books. Jinx, Union knotted up at seven, but the Trojans are threatening as we head to quarter number two. You are watching this 16th annual Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. It is the Ford game of the week.
Drive a new Ford F-150 today with 8,000 total savings plus 1,000 cash for first responders. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. The Row Collection is now here at Mathis Brothers. Row offers the highest quality and comfort available in custom living room furniture. And for a limited time, you'll save an extra 10% off our everyday low prices. Our complimentary style advisors help you personalize row upholstery to fit your space. Plus, with no interest financing and an additional 10% savings going on now, it's a great time to come see the newest collections from Row only at Mathis Brothers. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How, you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How, you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. We are back at Union Tuttle Stadium. We are in South Tulsa. It's the campus of Union High School. It's the Midfirst Bank Backyard Bowl. Mike Ziegenhorn, Rod Thompson. The rest of our Your View crew with you on this beautiful Friday night in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And Jinx has thrown a huge wrinkle into this one. Will Cox, the senior, normally running back, has started at quarterback tonight. And the Trojans have scored again. They are now on top 13-7. And just like that, Rod, a turnover and quick points for Jinx. Yeah, and Kobe Rogers punching it in for the Trojans. And you see the Trojan faithful fired up. That offensive line has done a tremendous job on that play. Good push up front. Kobe Rogers able to punch it in. How about this? And on the try of the PAT, Max Paspin. And it is no good as he pushes it wide left. To go before the half and another look. Big push up front by the Jinx <laughs> offensive yes. line. Man, they were just pushing. Take another look. It's a great block by number 44, the fullback for the Trojans, James. Talked about him on the defensive side of the ball. Gets a great push. Trojans up 13 set. I don't think it's been a backyard bowl that we've been in that we didn't have a miss miss field goal and miss extra PAT, point. Yeah. And it always seems to come back. A fumble, interception, yes. long run. Yes. Big plays. Also up front, Max Johnson, number 72, 287 pound senior. And 78, John Roberts, 276 pound senior. Getting some big push up front for the Jinx. Keith Riggs in his second year, 12 and three, replaced Alan Trimble, who won 13 state titles. And I've been told Coach Trimble Rod is in the stadium tonight. No motivation for those young men. Series. Jinx has dominated things in recent years. Winning nine of the last 12 games overall. That includes all games that they played, not just this mid first bank backyard bowl. A little pooch kick. Bounding. Pearson comes up with it. He's got some room to run. He stayed on his feet. <laughs> And still able to get four grand. Great athletic move by the senior. And you see how athletic he is and speed. Gonna make you miss. Watch him miss his burst. Watch him break the tacklers right there. Keeps going. Look at the balance. He's able to have. He can take it to the house on you. In a hurry. The Union got a first down right on their first series and. They have not had one since. It was on the 62-yard run by A.J. Green to put him on top 7-0. Just 43 seconds into the game. 
Since then, Jinx has tightened the screws defensively. Geneva back to pass. And, well, he was looking over the middle and then realized he wasn't going to be able to get it to his tight end and it just turned him through. Area where he thought he was going to have a receiver, but nobody was there. He had plenty of time back there. Good job by the offensive line. Union. He throws it incomplete, so it's going to be second and ten. From the 41. And... Looks like Union's going to have to burn another timeout. We will take it with them. You're watching the Ford game of the week on your view. You're watching Game Time on your view. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Expedition today with 0% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 cash for first responders. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. King Game Time on your view. For more in depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind the scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Union Tunnel Stadium on this Friday night. The Jinx fans made the trip across the river. Some of them. And it is a second down for Union. Geneva passes out of Pearson, has blocking. He's got open field. And he's got a Union first down as he crosses midfield. Had to skip by a shoe there, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can probably expect a heavy dose of Pearson coming up to your playmakers. Pearson, 10 receptions coming into this game. Team's leading receiver. Geneva hands it off and trying to make something happen. Junior Smith, as he gets to the 46, picked up two. And he is second long now for the Redskins, and another Trojan loses a cleat. <laughs> that was a good job by Jinx up front again. Balling up the speed. Smith. Second and eight. Geneva gets it out to nice. Smith. Cuts back behind his blocking. And gets down to the 40. Maybe 39. Gain of seven. Eight. Gain of eight on that bad play. Third and one. Smith again spins his way forward and he's going to have enough for the first down. Nice run by him to break a couple of tackles. Yeah, that was a really good job, as you said, Xavier Smith. Hit behind the line of scrimmage, able to spin and move the chains. Smith and Green rotate in that backfield. Smith also, both of them really played 
and hot on defense. So back to back first downs for Union on this drive. Geneva again under pressure, spins away, breaks a couple of tackles, and in his face again was James Pruitt as Jinx blitz the linebacker. He's done a good job last couple of plays. He hit at the line of scrimmage or behind and able to still be able to get positive yards out of it. Jiggs took the lead after intercepting Geneva on Union's last series. Then get one downfield and Pearson too. Smith again carrying defenders with him. Rolls his way forward down close to the 30 yard line. And it's going to be a third and two now for Union. Jinx did miss the PAT, so that's why we're sitting at 13 7. Joining us late, Union scored on their second play of the game to take a 7 0 lead. And Jinx without their junior starting quarterback Stephen Kittleman who's out with a knee injury. Senior Will Cox has come in and led the Trojans to now a 13-7 lead. A.J. Green stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. And that Jinx defense again. James Pruitt along with his teammates including Tyson Ward with the stop. Take another look. Kind of meeting there at the line of scrimmage and watch him push back. Nowhere to go. Good. Right there, saying he was down. And let's see what Union does on fourth down, Rod. Fourth and short. About two, they're going to go for it. And it looks like they come out in a wildcat formation. Oh, looks like he's going to be on. Union. Actually, it's Robon Banks who's checked in at quarterback. Both start. Offense, five yards, still fourth down. So Banks, one of the backup quarterbacks here at Union. <laughs> Banks, just a sophomore. Would split Geneva out wide to the left. And now Geneva back in at quarterback on a fourth and seven. Pearson. Geneva again, ball was tipped. And he led his receiver too much, and Union turns it over on downs. Well, good job defensively right there by the Trojans. He was going to green downfield. So Jinx, is, Jinx will take over first and 10 at their own 35 yard line. Will Cox again at quarterback. Going to keep it himself. He's so patient running that football. Going to be a flag on the play. That's usually in the area of holding. <laughs> but you're right. His patience just, he thought he was going to bust that outside. He just waited and saw the, waited for the hole and just took off. You're right, Jake. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. A couple of times. Couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Again, referee Eric Herring and his crew do an outstanding job. Week zero, Jinx went to Mansfield, Texas, 138-0. Last week, lost to Bixby 57-7. Steven Kittleman threw five interceptions in that game, also hurt his knee. And that's why Will Cox starting a quarterback tonight for Jinx. So we'll do first down over again. First and 20. After the loss of 10 on the penalty. We got six. 
I guess it was more of a first and 18, so now we're at second and 12. And you kind of know what's coming. This game normally played at the it's Chapman Stadium on the campus University of Tulsa. There's two reasons they're not. One, TU and OSU play tomorrow, afternoon game. They're trying to get things set up for that TV-wise. And then this is the last year of this stadium as we know it right now. Another flag comes flying in as Cox keeps it, Rod, because the, area, the press box we're sitting in on this side of the stands on the west side after the season's over is going to be torn down. How about that. It's going to look totally different here. Last time you see it. How about the moon right there, Z? Ooh, yeah. Offense. 10 yards from the start of foul. Still second down. Another holding penalty against Jinx. Kind of digging himself a hole with the penalties. You know, 6.05 left before the half. You, know, you want to try to work some clock and get downfield, not give you another opportunity, but the penalties could be a factor. Well, for, you talked about the moon rod due east of us right here. An Not orange that. moon, full moon, <laughs> and it's Friday the 13th. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes. Be careful walking yeah. down the stairs. <laughs> Clock runs, play clock down to six. Snap is made. Screen pass, caught. And defended well by the Redskins that time. It'll bring up a third and about 20 for Jinx. Big Josh Peoples. And again on the tackle, Jacob Rogers for Union. Third and 22. Cox again. Has a man that got by the defense. Wide open. It is caught. Brandon Elrod taken down just right around the 10 yard line. And wow. How about that play. Talk about going downfield. And you couldn't draw it up any better than that, getting behind the defense. Look at him taking his time and lets it go. Players make plays, gets behind the defense. Of course, they were expecting the run. There you see the speed. J.R. Smith able to come up and save the touchdown. An outstanding catch right there. 69 yards all the way down to the eight yard line and a breakdown in the Union secondary and Elrod was left open running behind the defense. Handoff goes to Rogers. Kobe Rogers gets a couple of more. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Second goal for Jinx from the six. Wide open, touchdown Jinx. Justin Murphy with the catch. How about Big Murph right there with the catch. And how about this drive orchestrated by our man, Will Cox. He's having a time on Cox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cox, six-yard touchdown pass to Justin Murphy. Take another look. Play action goes up. Finds the big fella. Touchdown, and the Trojans are rolling right now. And we have a penalty on the play against... Union They're offsides on the PAT try. Jinx, Jinx will decline. P 
PAT, that one is good. Jinx on top by 13. You're watching the 16th annual Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl, the board game of the week. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, proud sponsor of Sooner Athletics. One love. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Mick Cornett, and along with Kent Myers, we do a television show called The Verdict. We try to bring you good guests with good information so that after you've watched our show, you know more than you did before you tuned in. So please tune in. Topics from all over Oklahoma. You can see it on Your View Oklahoma's YouTube channel and also on Your View Channel 3. Join us on The Verdict. I hope you'll see us and as we learn more about Oklahoma and all of the wonderful things going on in our state. We're back at Union Tuttle Stadium. A beautiful night in Tulsa, Oklahoma. High school football. It is the Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl. Temperature are still 77 degrees, but man, it is a great night outside. And it may be 77, but Jinx is playing at about 200 degrees right now. They are red hot on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. And Will Cox, the senior, you know, it is Friday the 13th. There's a full moon. What else would you expect with this football game? You have a senior who's a running back, a defensive back, come in, and then inexplicably, Union touches the ball as it's bounding toward out of bounds, and it'll be marked at the four-yard line. And again... Friday the 13th, full moon. Union will start first and 10 at their own four. Rod is heading downstairs. We're gonna hook up with him when he gets down to the sidelines. Uh, he will be there to talk to the coaches and be ready for our halftime show. The Chick-fil-A halftime show. Mid-First Bank check presentation. We'll talk to Tulsa Market President Scott Stidham and join the Renegade Regiment. And what were some of these first half highlights? First down carry from the four. A.J. Green runs it up to the 10. The Union needs to get something going here just before the half because Jinx will get the ball to start the second half. Second three as it was a gain of seven on that first down carry. Geneva keeps, runs right up the middle. Best run of the night for that quarterback as he gets down to the 20 yard line. And Union's got a first down. Fourth first down of the night for the Redskins. Clock continues to move. Union has burned two of their timeouts already here in the first half, so they just have one left. And Union tried to reverse, and Jinx ate that one up. They had defenders in the backfield and blew that play up. Loss of one on the play as Geneva was able to get a little bit of yardage back, but it'll now be second 11 for Union. Rod, you made it. How's it down there on the sidelines, Rod? He is down there. We will hook up with him after this play. 
pass caught by Pearson. Nice grab. Breaks a tackle and almost nice breaks another one. Nice grab right there by Pearson again, Zig. Good catch. High ball, but he was able to come down with it. And again, across as he ran from the slot position. 21-yard pickup on that second down. And there you take another look at it. Rod, if he breaks that, he might go. Clock continues to wind. Geneva again, everybody's covered. He's gonna take off. And take it down at the 42. Gain of five. Second five. We're gonna have to move a little bit quick, quicker than this on offense, aren't they, Rod? Technical difficulties with Rod. We'll hook up with him in a minute. Green, right side. He's off to the races. A.J. Green does it again. 58-yard touchdown run. Second long run for him tonight. Take a look, he broke a couple of tackles, got nice blocking downfield, and then nobody's gonna catch him all the way to the end zone. <laughs> 20 to 13, Union. Trails trying to make it a six point game with this PAT. It is good. And some life for the Redskins as they, as Green bust another long run. That one 58 yards. Stay with us, halftime, as I mentioned a minute ago, Chick fil A halftime show. We'll have the Midfirst Bank Check presentation with Midfirst Tulsa Market President Scott Stidham. Enjoy the Renegade Regiment and go over highlights and first half stats. Chick fil A halftime show coming up in just a minute. So Union on the strength of two, A.J. Green runs a 62-yard run and then a 58-yard run by Green on the night. Five carries, 128, or six carries, 128 yards. Forbes set to kick off. And Jaden Patrick lets it go into the end zone. So a drive that started at their own four yard line for Union. 96 yard drive on that last series for the Redskins. Union has brought it back to a six point game. Take a look at Union head football coach Kirk Frederick, 13th year, 138 and 24, five state championships. And trying to avoid an 0 and 3 start. Looks like Jinx will take a knee and say we've had enough here. Oh, and a flag. And get the snap off in time. So marching back five. 
Keith Riggs will be content to take it to the halftime with a six point lead. And there's gonna be about a second or two difference in the play clock and the game clock, so they will have to snap it one more time. New rule this year in high school football, 40 second play clock. As soon as the whistle blows, they set it 40 in. You better get ready and go. And that'll do it. So Jinx comes out with a new wrinkle. Wilcox playing quarterback. Cox has had a big first half. 10 carries, 83 yards, and a touchdown. He's also thrown a touchdown pass. Six, five out of six for 105 yards. Yes. Crazy, crazy first half here at Union Tunnel Stadium. And the Trojans threw a kink in the armor of this one tonight. Putting somebody at quarterback who hadn't played there all year. And Jinx, Coach Keith Riggs is making his way over. He will talk to Rod Thompson. And he'll explain to him what in the heck's going on down there. Now here's Rod with Coach Riggs. Thanks a lot, guys. Coach Riggs, I mean, interesting first half. Of course, talk about Will Cox. Putting him in the quarterback position, he's come up big for your team so far in that first half. Well, he's done everything we've asked him to. He's done a great job managing the game and some big runs and a couple of big throws, you know, which you wouldn't think of a running back. But, um, you know, we got to come out and, and eliminate some mistakes that uh, – that were kind of crucial, give up a couple big plays on defense, but I'm real happy where we're at. Another exciting backyard ball, right? All right, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, Coach Riggs right there. Back up to you, Zig. All right, thanks a lot, Rod. And now they have the check presentation from Midfirst Bank. Scott Stidham there in the middle. Kirk Hartzler, the superintendent at Union Public Schools. Each school gets fourteen thousand dollars. You talking about uh, to you, Scott Stedham, right? Within the school system. Yes. And I think he's taking off he, that, that guy right there, the gray shirt. For sixteen years, they've been doing this, and Mid First Bank has done a fantastic job being a sponsor of this event and being able to give money to each of the schools to use toward education it's not it does not go to athletics it goes to the rest of the school system to be used as the as they see fit we are at halftime it is the 16th annual mid first bank backyard bowl and rod is with scott stidham right now rod Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Join her now. Scott Statham, of course, uh, Director of Marketing, Tulsa Marketing at MidFirst. And just talk about this partnership, Scott, with this Backyard Bowl. Well, we're in our 16th year. We're very, very pleased both schools are willing to keep us around. That's a long time to have a relationship like this. But we're very proud because in that tenure, we've given over $350,000, and not just to the athletic programs, but to the schools as a whole for them to use as they want. What does this mean to you guys as a bank mid first to be able to partner with two great programs, of course, here in the state of Oklahoma? Well, we're just fortunate to get to do so. I mean, let's be honest about it. These are two of the premier schools, two of the premier athletic programs, art programs, the spirit squads, the bands, everything involved. They do things at such a high level. We appreciate them allowing us to partner with them. 
Well, of course, Mid First being a part of this. Someone that may not know about Mid First. Why Mid First, Scott? Well, we're locally owned and operated. Uh, decisions are made here in Oklahoma. Uh, we uh, most recently became a $20 billion financial institution, which makes us one of the largest family-owned banks in the country. We think that's something to be proud of. Of course, you love sports. Talk about this atmosphere. You've been a part of Mid First Backyard Bowl for a while, but someone that may not be able to come. Talk about this atmosphere and what a great event this is. I tell you, it's as good as there is in the entire state. Uh, we're very fortunate. We have a lot of our staff from Oklahoma City that want to come over just to see the event and be part of it. So it's a neat deal. It'll rival about any college game we've got going on in this part of the country, that's for sure. Talk about you had some booth, look like you had some stuff set outside, out front where people were able to give. What was that that was going on out front in front of the stadium, Scott? Yeah, I appreciate you asking. So that's called our coin ban. And what we do is we ask each respective school and their student bodies to contribute coins. We count the coins, and then we make a matching contribution to the respective schools, again, that they can utilize as they want to. Well, Scott, appreciate all you guys do at Mid First Bank, partnering with these two great institutions and being able to come out and support the Mid First Backyard Bowl. Thank you. We appreciate you guys and your coverage. Thank all you. All right, Scott Stedham right there at Mid First. Back over to you, Zig. All right, thanks a lot, Rod. It is the Chick-fil-A halftime show. More coming up next. It's game time on your view. The Ford Game of the Week is being brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Visit your best in Oklahoma Ford dealers for the best deals on Ford's full line of vehicles. Ford is the best in Oklahoma. Weoki Federal Credit Union, proud sponsors of the Weoki Kick for Cash. Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. Roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Your best you starts here. The Plaza at Town Square by McCaleb Holmes. Love where you live. And by Cox, bringing us closer. The best place to tailgate is at Louie's Grill and Bar. Football season is here, and Louie's is ready for you before the game, after the game, or even during the game. We have all your favorites and tons of TVs. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. At Louie's Grill and Bar, we're serving up world-famous burgers and pizzas. Oh, and wings, and rice bowls, and fresh salads, and of course tacos, and great sandwiches, like the new Italian Stallion. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. Why can't our house always smell like this? Why is it so satisfying watching cheese melt? Oh, I know. It's like a nature documentary. The flowing rivers of cheese spread quickly across the landscape, culminating in a majestic sea of mozzarella. Can I borrow those? Sure. I can't see anything. Oh, the prescription, Maddie. Oh. At Papa Murphy's, for only $7, get a large made-from-scratch pepperoni pizza. Papa Murphy's. We make it. You bake it. I had always wanted to get braces, always considered it, thought about it. You know, how long is this going to take? Am I too old to do this? What am I going to look like with braces on, with payment options and everything else? Nothing's hindering me now. I just need to go ahead and do it. The staff, for one, is awesome. The doctor's great. I know I had friends growing up saying, oh, it hurts. I didn't have that experience. Uh, I can't wait to see my teeth uh, without being masked by wires, right? In hindsight, I would have done it again 100 times over. game time on your view for more in-depth coverage of the top players around recruiting updates behind the scenes access and more check out yourview.com come on in and discover the new cox solution store experience a whole new level of in-home comfort it's all right here at the cox solution store discover learn and experience more Halftime, Jinx on top of Union, 20 to 14 in the 16th annual Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl. Each school just got a check for $14,000. And now it's time to hear from the Union High School Renegade Regiment.
It's halftime. Jinx on top of Union, 20 to 14. Halftime, Chick-fil-A halftime show coverage continues after this on our fourth game of the week. When it's your business, owner is just one of your jobs. Cox Business Security Solutions can help with a customized surveillance and detection system that lets you adjust the temperature while you're picking up flowers for the cafe. An extra set of eyes, confirming tonight's special arrived so you can add it to the board. It's the promise of a good night's sleep, reassuring you everything is in its place and will still be there for whatever your job may be tomorrow. Hello, my friends, Greg Walter here for my one and only Community Builders. It's time again for my $25,000 home makeover. You know, with only 37 years of growth and continued success, we've made a lot of donations to charitable organizations locally, plus around the globe. Now, you could be on the receiving end of thousands of dollars during my $25,000 home makeover. First prize, you get to take your pick. New windows, siding, maybe a bath or shower system. Second prize, $5,000 in cash, or third prize, that's gonna be $2,500, it's cash also. But you gotta be a homeowner, you gotta be doing a home improvement project in the next 12 months to enter. So if it's time for new windows or siding, maybe even a metal roof, or maybe you need a new bath or shower system, schedule a free in-home estimate now and be automatically entered in my $25,000 home makeover. The drawing's gonna take place this fall. Three winners are gonna be drawn, so enter now to win. So click me or call me, 918-836-5055. I might give you a lot of money. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. And welcome back, mid-first backyard bowl, Jinx up 2014 over the Union Redskins in this matchup here at Union Tuttle Stadium. I'm joined here now by Emily Barkley, of course, the athletic director here at Union. Emily, always good seeing you. Hey, and let's get right to it. The buzz around here when I got here is going to be some moving and shaking going on with the stadium. Tell us about the great things coming up you guys have in store. We are super excited. At the end of the uh, this season, the west side, the home side of the stadium is coming down to the ground, and we're going to rebuild new press box, new weight room, wrestling rooms underneath. More, more importantly, new press box for your, your crew <laughs> up there with bathrooms and elevators. Um, but we're really excited. This stadium's over 40 years old, and it's time for a little bit of a makeover. The excitement, how do you guys plan to handle? Of course, construction will be going on when you guys play next year. How long do you think it will take, and how will you guys accommodate, or will you still play games here? We are going to try. It's, a, it's projected to be an 18-month project. So we won't have the home side of the stadium for that entire year. Our plan is once the district schedule is coming out, try to arrange it so we can have three to four home games. We'll only use the visiting side. It'll be the only side of the stadium and have to relocate the press box to the UMAC for a season. But we'll, we'll get it done somehow, and that's the plan for next year. So that with that going on, anything else you guys have going on great that you may want to talk about the great things going on here at Union. Yeah, absolutely. With this bond issue that we passed a couple of years ago, uh, there's also going to be a fine art swing here at the north end of the stadium. Uh, we're going to backfill some areas to where our volleyball actually has a home now. There will be a practice facility as well as game uh, locker rooms. Um, and then our baseball softball complex, we're going to hopefully turf some areas and get some upgrades over to there that are well needed as well. 
Well, always an outstanding job, Emily. You guys do a great job here, and I know you're looking forward to everything that's coming here at Union. Thank you so much. All right, Emily Barkley right there, athletic director here at Union. Great things going on here. We'll take another time out and come back with some halftime highlights. You're watching the Mid-First Backyard Bowl on your view. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. Save money. Purchase Tulsa State Fair advance tickets September 1st through September 23rd. Four gate admission tickets for only $30. Buy now at Area Quick Trips or Expo Ticket Express. And don't forget discount ride coupons, too. For more information, visit TulsaStateFair.com. The Tulsa State Fair, September 26th through October 6th. Presented by Ford and your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Welcome to Grigsby's. If you're considering new floor covering for your home or office, come see for yourself the many options we have available at prices you can afford. Here in our spacious carpet showroom, we have hundreds of popular styles and colors in every leading brand. And if you're looking for hardwood, we have a large selection in our showroom. And you can actually see what it will look like professionally installed in your home. Come to Grigsby's and find the perfect floor covering to fit your budget. Hi, Mom. Ugh, oh, I forgot. Can, well, can I head to the pharmacy after dinner? You're all out? Okay. I'll head out to get them. Are you feeling overwhelmed and not sure where to turn? Sometimes you need a little help with your aging loved ones. Our mission is to enrich seniors' lives by helping them live safely in their own homes and giving them support as they continue to pursue their favorite activities. Contact Amata Senior Care or visit us online today. It's halftime for game of the week on your Chick-fil-A halftime show. Mike Ziegenhorn, Rod Thompson, and our Yearview crew, and it is Jinx Union. Crazy things happen in this football game. I guess it doesn't help that it's a Friday the 13th with a full moon either, and it's been a wild first half indeed. Let's take a look at these first half highlights. Union jumped out of the gate real quick. Second play of the game for the Redskins. A.J. Green, untouched, 62 yards into the end zone, and Union quickly on top, 7 to nothing. Jinx, a little wrinkle. Steven Kittleman, the normal starting quarterback, hurt last week, so what do they do? Will Cox, the running back, plays quarterback. 35-yard run, capping off a five-play five drive. It was tied at 7. Start of the second quarter. Kobe Rogers, a two-yard dive up the middle. Jinx had a 13-7 lead as they missed the PAT. And then Cox showing he can do it all. 188 total yards of offense just from him in the first half. Jinx had 197. That pass complete downfield. And then Cox would hit Justin Murphy. 20-7, Jinx on top. Look like they're going to run away with it. And then just before halftime, A.J. Green rips off another run, 58 yards for Green. He ended up with 128 yards rushing in the half. And Jinx has a 20 to 13 halftime lead. The teams are marching back out on the field. We'll take another break. You're watching the Ford Game of the Week. Tonight. 
Drive the new Ford Ranger today with 0% financing for 60 months plus 2,000 total savings. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. Hey, I'm Jarrell, and I love the Smokehouse Barbecue Bacon Sandwich. The best part is the barbecue, or maybe it's the bacon, or maybe it's the chicken with the bun, or maybe it's the barbecue, the bacon, the chicken, and the bun. Three Bs. You can't get enough of it. Hey, I'm Lauren, and I love the Smokehouse Barbecue Bacon Sandwich because of their amazing sauce. The sauce made the sandwich, 100%. It's definitely not too sweet. It has a little bit of a tang to it. It just hits the spot. If you put that Smokehouse Barbecue sauce on anything, I'd eat it. This is important news for people who have been exposed to the weed killer Roundup in commercial settings and later developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. According to the World Health Organization's research on cancer, the active ingredient in the weed killer Roundup, glyphosate, can cause cancers such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you or a loved one were exposed to Roundup in a commercial setting such as farming, landscaping, or golf course maintenance, and then developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, you could be eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. If you or a loved one were exposed to the weed killer Roundup and were then diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now to see if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free, and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call now. Operators are standing by. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. And welcome back to the Mid-First Backyard Bowl here on the Cox Channel. Joining now by... Coach Frederick, Union Redskins, coach your team down right now. What do you think about that first half? I'll tell you what, it's pretty crazy. It reminds me a lot of backyard balls for sure. Um, I expect the second half to be probably a lot of the same stuff. You know, we uh, played a little bit on our heels. Obviously a different attack with their quarterback being out. I think uh, number 21 for them is doing a heck of a job. And uh, our kids have got to play a little more aggressive defensively. How much was it a factor that, uh, you know, Will Cox moving to that quarterback position? You probably didn't prepare for him there. Yeah. Uh, how much of the factor was it in that first half? I, I definitely think it affected us. But, again, it comes down to blocking and tackling. And you just got to do a better job. And hopefully our guys have made a few adjustments. Hopefully we'll, we'll play a little more aggressive. All right, Coach. Good luck in the Thank second half. Thank you very much. Back over to you, Zig. All right. Thanks a lot, Rod. Hey, be careful sprinting up the stairs. He's got a haul back up here for the second half. Union coach Kirk Frederick, and as he said, you know what? Just typical Union Jinx type of football game. Crazy things tend to happen. Players step up big time that you don't expect to, and those you do also step up and make plays that go down between these two rivals. 45th meeting between these two schools. Started playing the series really in 1949 and have played continuously continuously every year since 1976. Both teams come into this game off a loss. Union lost at home last week. Their home opener to Broken Arrow 14 to nothing. Meanwhile, Jinx lost at home as well to Bixby 57 to seven. And it's the first time since 1980 that both teams come into this game after losing the week before. And then Union with the shutout last week First time they'd been shut out at home since 1988 against Booker T and then talked to Mike Brown from the Tulsa World at halftime and he said the last time Union was shut out, period, was 1991. Although neither of us could remember who they lost to that year, but they were shut out in 1991. And Redskins trying to avoid an 0-3 start for the first time since 2006. And that's when Kevin Wright was here his one year at Union as we start half number two. His one year at Union as he took over for Bill Blankenship. He left and would eventually wind up at the University of Tulsa, go over to Fayetteville for a year and is now the head football coach at Arkans or at uh, Owasso. And then his third season with the Rams led them to a state championship game just two years ago. And I can update you on the score of 
Owasso Broken Arrow, they are at the half and their game tied up at 14. This one's 20 to 14, Jinx and Union. Second half underway. And Will Cox. He was Mr. Offense in the first half. 188 of their 197 total yards came either off his feet or off his arm. And on the first down carry, he picks up two from the 33 to the 35. You are watching the 16th annual Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. Appreciate you being with us on this Friday night. And it is also the Ford game of the week. Cox right side. Cut down at the 35. And nice tackle to slow him down. Caleb, Kalo for Union. You see Cox trying to get outside and Union making some halftime adjustments. Third and long now for Jinx. The clock continues to move here in the third quarter. We are just underway. Again, we mentioned in the first half, new rule this year in high school football, a 40-second clock, and it's really seemed to pick up the pace of the game. Bad snap, left side. Cox is lucky to get it, and as soon as he looks up, four Union defenders there to meet him. Really the first bad mistake of the night for Jinx. It's going to be a loss. See where they finally mark him back to the 29. Loss of seven. Loss of seven yards. Tyler Pearson deep for Union. Union. And there's that 40 second play clock as it is wound down. Bo West is set to punt for Jinx. Kyler Pearson moves up a few extra yards. He's standing at the Union 43, so Redskins hold three and out. And it's a, no, a bad snap, and Union is going to take over at the 20-yard line. Wow. Back-to-back -back plays for Jinx. Bad snaps, first to the quarterback and then on the punt. So Union will take over. First and 10, and there's a look. I don't, yeah, I don't think he ever got it. Yeah, it slipped out of his hand. Roller weight loss and advanced surgery first down. A successful drive begins when you make the first down. Take your first step on the road to longer, healthier life with roller weight loss and advanced surgery. It is a roller weight loss and advanced surgery first down for Union. Mexicans come out, diamond formation, and then everybody resets. Geneva in the backfield of Green. Tries to flip it to Pearson. Instead, it's to Banks. And that didn't fool the Jinx defense that time. They were ready for it. Maybe a yard up to the 20. Did you have time to catch your breath? I heard the elevator's out, so you had to take the stairs, right? <laughs> That'll be tomorrow morning, bright and early, right? A gain of one, second and nine. I just want to know how the weather was out there, Rod. Nice. Geneva keeps. And the RPO. Yeah. There's nobody outside. 
It'll be a big stop for Jinx if they can hold Union on third down as one of the Redskin offensive linemen is down. Alex Slaughter, six foot, 275 pound junior. And then look, looks like Dan Newman's out there working on his left shoulder. Celebrate the rich cultures of Tulsa Latinx. The community at Festival Americas. It's happening Saturday, September 21st, 4 to 10 at Guthrie Green Festival Americas. A free, family, friendly event. <laughs> Festival Americas. <laughs> Festival Americas coming up. Next, that's next weekend, right? I'll see you down there. There's some great food. Talk to Rodrigo Rojas, who's in charge of all that and putting it together. Man, he was telling me about all the good food they're going to have down there. I was getting hungry. Geneva on third down. And nice crossing pattern. Pass is caught. As he runs over the defender. Arthur Cantlin. Or rather, no, that's... Makaya Belt. <laughs> Says Jaden Patrick, I'm going to put a belt on you with that. Robon Banks now in at quarterback. Geneva splits out to the left. They tried this in the first half. Hand off to Green. Bouncing off a couple of defenders. Finally pulled down as it's down inside the one-yard line. A three-yard pickup for Green. I don't know if you were able to hear me, but in that first half, Will Cox, Jinx had 197 yards. He accounted for 188 of them. He was a one-man wrecking crew, wasn't he? Now Union trying to respond, and Green has done his own wrecking. 131 yards on the ground for him. Play clock down to 10. Union's going to have to hurry or maybe burn a timeout. And they do. Union has taken a timeout to talk about it. We will take a break with them. You're watching the Ford Game of the Week on your view. Drive a new Ford F-150 today with 8,000 total savings plus 1,000 cash for first responders. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. Good night, honey. I love you. Love you, too. Sleep well, buddy. Out what happens next at okcastle.com and remember we're open every weekend in october <laughs> Union threatening, second and goal from the one. After a bad snap off a punt, the Redskins picked up a big third down. 
And Rovon Banks, right side, touchdown. Union has tied it up. Five plays to score. Redskins can take the lead for the second time tonight. Off the foot of Forbes. And it's good. Union back on top, 21-20 our score, 7.50 to go in the third quarter. Redskins scored first. And here's Banks, the most recent touchdown. Sophomore was in a heated quarterback battle with Geneva, who was a transferring from Kawita. Uh, also, Trent DeSmith and Geneva ended up winning the job, but Banks has got some quality playing time tonight, Rod, not only receiver, but also we've seen him at quarterback a couple of times. Checking out some other scores around the area. 6A, Division I, Broken Arrow leads Owasso 17-14. That one in the third quarter. They were tied up at 14 at the half. As this one is kicked off. And returned by Brandon Elrod, who had a nice hand and a 69-yard pass completion in that first half. He returns it out to about the 30-yard line. Hey, it's going to be a first down for Jinx. A roller weight loss in advanced surgery. First down, take your first step on the road to longer, healthier life with roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Cox empty backfield, gonna try and run it up the middle and nothing there as the Union defensive front. Marley Forsberg, the defensive lineman, the junior, making the tackle. Second down and nine, a game of one. Cox under pressure again. Didn't go down, somehow stayed on his feet. And he crosses the 35 up to the 37. Good for a jinx first down. And there's Cox again. Making plays happen, take another look. Thought he was down. He did not, he rolled good right piece. over the defender, yeah. <laughs> good piece of officiating right there. Gain of 12 on that last carry, up to the 37. Cox again, left side. Up to the 44. Seven yard gain. 
You know, you think, wow, man, he's running a lot. But if he was out there at the tailback, it'd just be someone handing him the ball <laughs> instead of him taking a direct snap, right? You're exactly right. And sometimes you're more of a weapon running from that quarterback position. 16 carries, 98 yards. 16 times he's touched the ball tonight right on the ground. And then passing is five out of six in that first half has not thrown a pass here in the second half. Rodgers. Boy, they had him right at the line of scrimmage and he fought forward and got the first down. Great second effort right there by Rodgers. And into has a touchdown early in the first half. Keeps his feet moving. So another first down for Jinx, their 10th of the game. Jacob Rogers, senior linebacker. Called his name quite a few times tonight on the Union defense. Got two on that last play, so it's gonna be a second eight now for Jinx. What a night for football. Both teams will have a, an off week next week before they head into district play. Cox again, and who is there? <laughs> Jacob Rogers. Flag comes flying in late. That's a real face mask. See what Eric Herring has to say. Five, Coach Rod, a ref Rod with the face mask. Getting it done right here. Take another look. Right yep. there at the end, Boy. catches him. Tried to take it off. And you know what? Didn't need to, but it was one of, it was, <laughs> that's an inadvertent. Yep. Yeah, you're just, you're there. Your hand went to the wrong place at the wrong time and cost him five instead of a second, six and a half. It's now a second, about a half a yard, maybe a yard to get there. Second down for Jinx. Again, Cox. He can just make you miss. <laughs> I'm so patient. And the good ones are. They take their time. We've seen some good ones over the years, Zig. And he just takes his time and picks his spots. Wilkerson right there with the tackle. Marcellus Wilkerson, 6'2", junior, cornerback. Rogers, left side, gets into the Union secondary. And flag. another flag comes flying in. Flag on That's going to be after. So probably going to be against Jinx at the end of the play. A lot of, a lot of talking going on <laughs> down there, don't you think? You know it. You, know, you talk about this backyard bowl and all the, as we get the call here. Dead ball, personal foul. Defense, 15 yards from in the run, first down. Boy, and a couple of penalties with the face mask, and then you get that one. Gonna move on, but we talk about all the time these games we were able to bring on Cox. My man Paul Smith, a dec decent football player yeah, in his day, it. could throw it a little bit. Well, his dad, Ron, <laughs> longtime coach, is what helped him here at Union. Yep, and Paul, a guy like me, love old school cars. Dad had that license plate said go deep on him. 
<laughs> An outstanding guy, a great player. And, you know, Zig, we've been doing it for, you know, for a pretty good while. And, you, you know, you remember watching, you know, a lot of the great players, a lot of great players here that we've been fortunate to be able to cover. And always good when you hear those guys and they're able to go back and kick back at home with their kids and, and watch. You know, I remember one, but one time you were zapping me. You were yes, I coming did. many pounds you ago. Gotta bring that up. You gotta time. bring that up. I zapped Zig, you know. You did or I did? <laughs> I did. I let you know. Okay. I felt bad for you. College student, you know. Cox right side. Nobody feeling bad for him. Gets a great block all the way down inside the five. Maybe they're gonna push him out at about the two yard line. Can't say enough about his patience at the running back position. I mean, it's almost looks like he's not. You know, he, he, he does a very good job of changing speeds and directions. Look at the patience right here. Watch him turn it on again. And I think that's something that transcends all sports with the exception of track is changing speeds. You know, do a lot of basketball. You talked about the hardest guy to guard is a guy who can change speeds. Mr. Cox is, is showing us how elusive you can be when you can change speeds and change directions. Rogers hit, he fumbles. Union's got it. They're going the other way. How about that? It's a race to the goal line. Ball in his hands. Joseph, JoJo Nichols. Touchdown, Redskins. No flags down. And it's going to be, a, picked it up right around the 10, maybe a 90-yard fumble return. And what a tide-turning play right there. Oh, man, knock the win out of you right there if you jinx. How about this guy? He just came up with a, a nice tackle earlier and take another look. Watch the hit right there. Oh, never had it. Ball squirts out. Watch the athleticism to scoop it up in a foot race. He's going to win. Blockers right in front of him. Take another look. And boy, I think I could have ran that one back, Zig. <laughs> You might have been caught in about the two, Rod. You'd have been gassed. <laughs> I could have ran that one back. Union now up 27 to 20. PAT is good. Redskins lead it by eight. 28-20. 205 left in the third. Redskins has some momentum. You're watching the fourth. Game of the week. Why can't our house always smell like this? Why is it so satisfying watching cheese melt? Oh, I know. It's like a nature documentary. The flowing rivers of cheese spread quickly across the landscape, culminating in a majestic sea of mozzarella. Can I borrow those? Sure. I can't see anything. Oh, the prescription, Maddie. Oh. At Papa Murphy's, for only $7, get a large made-from-scratch pepperoni pizza. Papa Murphy's. We make it. You bake it. Join us this week on Oklahoma Sports Scene when we look at highlights from the Oklahoma State McNeese State and then talk about OSU and TU when they come to Chapman Stadium in Tulsa. And Mike Malega, the president and general manager of Tulsa Jones, to talk about the Villas going for that second straight Texas League championship playing at Amarillo. And Don King, the veteran voice of the Jinx Trojans, previewing in the mid-first backyard bowl, Jake Union, this Friday night. Of course, our Remington Race Report, all coming up on Oklahoma Sports Scene. We're back at Union Tunnel Stadium. We're in South Tulsa, full moon on this Friday the 13th. Mike Ziegenhorn, Rod Thompson, our UVU crew. Union's scored 14 points here in the second half. The Redskins were down 20-14 at the half. Two jinx turnovers, Rod, have led to Union's points.
Well, that kickoff goes out of bounds. There you see Alan Trimble, the former Jinx coach, his wife Courtney with him here tonight. Coach Trimble, 13 state titles, Rod, in his <laughs> tenure at Jinx. Helped lay the groundwork. They started things rolling in 1996 when Ron Lancaster left, and unfortunately he contracted ALS. Coached a couple of more years at Jinx and then had to retire after the 2000. And 17 season. The legend himself, Cleveland's finest. Great to see him out here. About a super guy. And then Keith Riggs, who was the defensive coordinator under Trimble, was promoted to the job, and this is his second season at Jinx. Lost in the state championship game a year ago to Broken Arrow 28 20 after getting a miraculous win in the semifinals against this Union team. Yes. Union had scored with what, a, like 30 seconds left? Less than a minute to go. Jinx started deep inside their own 20-yard line and somehow marched down the field and scored on the final play of the game. You know, the, the thing that, and as we talked about, we've been doing these games for probably 20 years now, but, you know, and, and I will say we've been very fortunate. You know, you talk about Coach Trimble, Riggs, Frederick, you know, bunch of good guys that, you know, get the impact a lot of kids and have always been pretty good to us, you know, but some, this goes Trimble, great guy. Second down, Cox short arms it just a little bit to Waylon Adams, his tight end. And that's going to bring up a third down. Maybe it's slipped out of his hand as he runs to the sideline to get a play and has to wipe his hands off with a towel. Well, yes, it is cooler tonight. Still a chance. For cramping out there, although we are in week three, you tend not to see it as much as we do in the first two weeks of the season. Get you some pickle juice right there, Zig. Go <laughs> cramping. Just his second incomplete of the night. Jinx was on the move on their last series, got down inside the five, and then fumbled. And Union returned the ball 90 yards for a touchdown to take the eight point lead. Jinx is really putting it together, kind of settling in. Boy, oh, that drive just kind of knocked the win out of you. So next series is going to be important for them to be able to hold defensively against this Union team. It's fourth down. Jinx punting. And delay a game or timeout. Twenty eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. Hey, Rod, have you checked out the Over the Middle podcast? No, I haven't. Your, your Views recruiting podcast called Over the Middle, hosted really? by recruiting guru Jeremy Crabtree. Hmm, something new. Guess I who was on that. there? What? What? Yeah, he talked to me this week. How about that? They tell me a bunch of people was listening because they yeah. heard you were on there. Yeah. <laughs> Each week, Jeremy will take you inside the huddle. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Interviewing players, coaches, and industry insiders in and around college football. Which one am I? Am I a player, a coach, or an industry insider? All of the above. All that and more each week on Over the Middle Podcast. Check it out at yourview.com. Yeah, I hooked up with Jeremy this week. We talked about this Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl, Jinx Union. Also mentioned some of the other teams around the area in the state. So it's had a blast. You know, I'd, I'd known of Jeremy. I'd never talked to him. Mike in the truck told me that everybody was busy. Couldn't. <laughs> oh, said, well, wait a minute, that's not on the list. Not that's what Mike said. Says players, told me. coaches, and industry insiders, not mm. people who. <laughs> oh, okay. Not last chance. I, I. And it goes out of bounds. Eh, they're going to mark it maybe around the 35. Yeah, right at the 35 yard line. Nice punt. So Union will take over first and 10 at their own 35. 21 seconds to go here in the third quarter. But check out that podcast each week. But, you know, there's so many people love recruiting. Uh, I know you love recruiting. You're, you're knee deep. I'm not, and I'm not just talking football. <laughs> you're knee deep in it with basketball right now with your son, Bryce. So it's a 
big deal. Everybody wants to know where the top players in each school and each state are going to all the time. We've had some good ones here, and it's always fun, football and basketball. And always good to see these young men and women in our state be able to go on and be able to play. Hey, it's another first down. The Roller Weight Loss and Advanced Surgery first down. Take your first step on the road to longer, healthier life with a Roller Weight Loss and Advanced Surgery. And the first carry, there's going to be a face mask. Avante Wilkins gets a shot at it. 5'8", senior. There is a flag, two of them down. And, and, you know, we talk about, you know, a lot of these young men out here playing. We've, we've watched them or cover them in youth football. And we were talking earlier about Paul Smith. And, you know, he played. Of course, his dad coached him. Now he has two all-stars coming up, Brody and Braylon. So watch for them. Wonder if they have arms like, like Pops. I'm sure he's got them out working in the backyard right now. Speaking of Bryce, when we're being young and, and Paul Smith, great teacher throwing the football. My son. Yes. Geneva keeps on first down. And that's going to be it for the third quarter. It's the Ford game of the week, the Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. It'll continue game time on your view in just a moment. The bladder control aisle. You won't shop here again. Your private business is your own. The constant struggle is over. Now there's a better way. It's HDIS. We home deliver bladder control products. We understand how you feel. For over 25 years, we've home delivered to many of the 20 million Americans who deal with incontinence. We offer all brands. We pay shipping and use plain, unmarked boxes. If we can help you or someone you care for, Call for your free product sample pack and $45 in money-saving coupons. Our counselors will help you choose the right product. And unlike stores, we're always in stock. You'll get what you need. Satisfaction guaranteed. HDIS, the better way. For your free sample pack with your free catalog, $45 in money-saving coupons, and free product samples, call 1-800-467-7608. That's 1-800-467-7608. Countless innocent children were sexually molested by adult scout leaders. The Boy Scouts of America's own secret files reveal that since 1910, they admitted into scouting thousands of child molesters. If you were abused in a scouting program, you are not alone. Come forward. New laws may allow you a path to significant financial compensation. Call now. Call 1-800-872-0642. Again, that's 1-800-872-0642. We're back at Union Tunnel Stadium. Fourth quarter, the final 12 minutes of this Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. Second down for Union, A.J. Green, right side. Seen that a couple of times tonight. Yeah, and wow, speed. fighting forward and... Boy, ball is loose. They're, yeah, they're, the official's calling him down. But man, he took some hits. You see his strength right there. We know about his speed. He's turning the corner here. Boy, as you said, Zig, right here. First one coming, look at some other hits. Trying to strip that ball away. 11 yard pickup. That was a tough 11 yards. Union trying to add to their eight point lead. They've scored the only points here in the second half. They've held Jinx scoreless. Geneva again. Nice right pass. side. Pass complete. Desmond McDaniels, junior wide receiver. His first catch of the night. Jinx players down. We were just talking about the cramping, and look at that, Rod. Uh oh, where's the pickle Life juice? On cue, Jaden Patrick. Oh, 
Hey, next Friday, the game of the week, we're going to have a double header. Edmond Santa Fe will be in Norman to take on the Norman North Timberwolves. That game will be on your view, Channel 3. Then on Channel 93, the Verdigris Cardinals will be hosting the Stillwell Indians. Game time, 7 o'clock. Santa Fe, Norman North on 3. Stillwell, Verdigris on Channel 93. That's next Friday night. And Patrick is helped off by the Jinx training staff. We got to get the Bigs Demons on here now. We need to. No, I gotta talk to Are they Mike. rolling? I got to talk to Mike. Some outstanding players down there, the Bigs Demons. Kendall Daniels getting recruited by all the coaches in the country. Say Tonkawa defending champs. Second short. Green again. Dives forward and he's going to have another first down. Had to get to the 21. Got almost to the 20 yard line. Another first down for Union. Their 10th of the night. Redskins offense seems to be clicking a little bit more here in the second half, Rod. Kind of struggled a little bit in that first half, but. They've seemed to find a some sort of rhythm. Yes, they have. And I think the untimely turnovers are jinx. Now you can see this Union offense really kind of settling in. Left side handoff. Avante oh. Wilkins. Man. Run out of bounds. How about that hit? The number 11, Quinn Hill. Watch Hill coming to your screen right here. Just a pursuit right here and watch heel. Boom. Delivering the blow. Taking him down and a junior. Keith Riggs told us we are very, very young. And both teams really are yes, young. Yes, three starters returning. On each side of the ball. And yes. I think Will Clark is the guy who is offense and defense. So, and I wanted to ask him, is it, so are you counting Clark in as both those, as two of the six? <laughs> or one of the, one of the four? Wilkins gets the first down on the carry. He'll get a breather and Nice job by Wilkins, a senior. Getting some PT in this backyard bowl. Geneva on first and goal, right at about the 10. He keeps it himself. Picked up maybe four. They get him down, yeah, three, three to four. They, it looks like they're right around the seven. And another Jinx player down on the turf. Hopefully we have more cramps. Appreciate you watching the Ford game of the week on your view tonight. This game will replay tonight at 10.30 and then it'll be shown again Tuesday evening at 7.30. Search Ford game of the week on YouTube to watch it anytime. You didn't know we were on YouTube, did you? I didn't know that. You're just a wealth of knowledge there. See? Young man from Beggs, Oklahoma, making it big, man, on Cox and YouTube worldwide. Man. Begs America. Yourview.com on the that. internet. <laughs> <laughs> this old Begs Demon. As I said, both teams will have next week off. Jinx opens up district play with Broken Arrow. Playing Jinx well. lost twice last year, and they lost both games too. Broken, Broken Arrow. Arrow. Yeah. Union also off next week, and then they open up district play against... Owasso. Mm. And as I mentioned Boy. earlier, BA and Owasso playing tonight at Broken Arrow. What many call that big four is pretty strong this year. Trying to look up the score to see 
B.A. had a 17-14 lead in that one in the second half. Owasso's now up 35-17 on Broken Arrow in the fourth quarter. Oh, Union that? now has a chance to go up 35-20 on Jinx. And that's Banks with his second <laughs> touchdown of the night. And, and did I say that he's going to find a way on the field? Different packages. He brings his athleticism and speed to that position and can really make plays happen with his feet. Good job by that staff putting players in position to make plays. And the sophomore, he said young now, but the future is bright for the Redskins. So Banks, the six yard TD, Forbes PAT is good. Union now on top by 15. It's a 35-20 score. Banks running us to the break. Union on top. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. It's game day, a day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, proud partner of OSU Athletics, one love. <laughs> You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Union taking a 15-point lead. Robon Banks, second touchdown of the night. That one from six yards out. Winds his way into the end zone, gets a hug from his teammate, Kyler Pearson, and Banks, the sophomore, showing why Kirk Frederick has some confidence to put him out there at that position. As I mentioned earlier, you know, there was, he was in a heated battle during preseason. We call it fall camp, even though they're playing it in the middle of summer in August uh, for the starting quarterback position this year. But, uh, you know, you get a playmaker, and as you mentioned, Rod, you got a playmaker, you got to find a way to get him involved out on the field, and they have. Forbes set to kick off. And this one will go into the end zone again, not returnable. So Jinx will start at their own 20 yard line. Down 15, 9 16 to go in this one. It's been a, a back and forth. Union jumped out on top 7 0. A.J. Green, a 62 yard touchdown, second play of the game. And then Jinx with their wrinkle. Will Cox came in and got things rolling for the Trojans. Speaking of rolling, how about it's a roller weight loss and advanced surgery. First down for Jinx. Take your first step on the road to long, healthier life with a roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Rosa Seals watching the game. Union graduate. Thanks for the coverage to get this backyard bowl. She's fired up about her Union Redskins. Cox first down, looking for some running room on the right side. Union has definitely made some adjustments to him at quarterback here in the second half. Hasn't that's, that's a great point, Zig, and that's what we talked about coming out in the second half. What adjustments would be made with this young team settle in with him at that quarterback position? And boy, what a difference a, a half makes. And that's hard because you didn't game plan for that. Yeah, you didn't did. know what they were going to do. You knew Kittleman. They knew Kittleman was hurt, but they didn't know who was going to be playing quarterback. And it, and it can be tough. I didn't game plan for all these steps. <laughs> Walking up, and I had to catch my breath and relax a little bit before I got back on. Thank you, Mike Davis. <laughs> Cox throws out to the right side. Pass complete. Caught Grant Lohr. Gets across the 30, and that's a jinx first down. Yeah, nice play right there by Lore. Still have time for more sense of urgency as you take a look at 
You know, J.R. Smith, he's another playmaker for this team, another sophomore. That class is pretty good. We've seen him on both sides of the football tonight also. And the officials come together. Officials. Asking to set the game clock back to eight minutes and 13 seconds. Hopefully they heard him because I had trouble hearing him, didn't you? <laughs> yes. He's got that Rice Krispies microphone. microphone. Now they got it, 8.13 on the game clock. Eric Herring and his crew back to work. And now they wind it. First down, Cox breaks away from two tacklers, but does not get away from the third. Jonathan Edwards right there. It's a big time play. Cox is really a handful trying to tackle one on one, but he's able to hold on and bring him down. Edwards listed as a receiver on our roster, but also has been playing quite a bit in the secondary tonight for Union. Each team with two timeouts left. Jinx needs them worse than Union at this point. Cox fakes the handoff, keeps it. Left side, forced out of bounds as he crosses the 40 and up to the 43, and that'll be another Jinx first down. And Cox has done a tremendous job. They're ready to get Kettleman back already. 16 first down of the night. For Cox, who's rushed for 145 yards. 25 carries, 145, Rod. He is going to need a nice bath after <laughs> this one. It's 16 carries in the first two games. Now Cox set to throw, looking for Bo Estes, who's double teamed. Ball tipped away. Triple team right there, triple coverage. The Jinx only sent two receivers out, so it's kind of a max protect to keep Cox from getting sacked. And you can see when you do that, you've got three defenders back. Five guys to guard two. <laughs> Second and 10 for the Trojans. Play clock down to eight. Cox again, right side. Looking to throw, looking, looking, and has to throw it out of bounds. Just a heady player because there's been several times, Rod, where you could, he doesn't play quarterback, so maybe you're thinking, okay, is he gonna try and force something, try and make a play, and he's been very conservative with it tonight. Well, we talked about him and Three-year starter comes with a lot of experience. As Riggs talked about, he's the leader of this team, silent leader, just kind of leads by example. A very heady player. Yeah, I mean, just imagine you're used to playing running back, and all of a sudden, and this could arguably be one of the biggest games you play in. Now you have to play quarterback. Play clock down to two, and they're going to have to call another timeout. Not where you wanted to call a timeout because the clock was already stopped. So Keith Riggs burns his second timeout of the night. Jinx down to one. 6.55 to go in this football game. A 
Massey, the second year head coach for Jinx. Jinx riding this decade. Six district titles, four state titles. They won it in 012, 13, 14, and 15. Four straight years, but then Union won it in 16, BA 17, or rather, Owasso 17 and Broken Arrow last year in 2018. It's, you know, some people are saying, hey, maybe the tides turned a little bit after Jinx and Union dominated things for 21 years. Now is it going to be Owasso and BA that make a little bit of a run yeah, back and forth? Uh, I think I think you could, but you start looking at the classes and was talking to Emily Barkley down there. And of course, Sig, you've been around this and you talk to athletic directors. And when you're at these schools like this, you understand if a group stays together, you could have a good seventh grade group, sixth grade group. If they stay together, you know they're probably going to have success once they get older. And a lot of those schools have some good young groups, so it's going to be interesting to see. Backside. Great pursuit. Look at that pursuit from the backside by Jonathan Edwards. And he sacks Cox on yeah. third and long. How about that? Edwards showing the wheels coming off that weak side. He would not be denied. Look at the pursuit. Cox trying to get away from him. He stays with it. Brings him down. Big time play by Edwards. Jinx will have to punt on fourth down. Estes, the punt. They say stay away from it. And it's finally down at about the 43. We'll take a break. It is the Ford game of the week. The 16th annual Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. Union up 15 with 6.06 to go. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. Billy Sims makes dinner fast and easy. How you ask? By using our online ordering tool. Choose from our menu and we'll get your order completed right away. We've been smoking your choices on site for 14 hours, so it's ready when you are. Let Billy Sims make you the takeout hero. Are you a victim of a high pressure or dishonest timeshare sales agent? Were you misled and confused with what you were buying? Did the timeshare fail to deliver what you were promised? Do you feel that you overpaid and just want out? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we can help. We're Timeshare Compliance. Our team can legally terminate your timeshare agreement, ending the payments forever. With one simple call, we can help end the financial suffering. Call 800-862-8116. 800-862-8116. Watching Game Time on your view. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Final 606 of this one. Union has erupted for 21 points here in the fourth quarter. Two offensive touchdowns by both scored by Rovon Banks and then a 90-yard fumble return from Jojo Nichols. Union has taken the lead. They scored first in this one, and Jinx got out and back ahead of them 20-7. Ever since then, it's been all Union. 28 straight points. right before the half and then three here in the second half and then a flag false start against Union. They picked his mic. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't cracking in our headsets that time. You know, we talk about people watching hey out in Arizona. Randy Carson. Is she tuned in? Tuned in watching the Backyard Bowl. She's been a part of quite a few of these. Back in during the weather of Arizona and checking us out. One of the great luxuries we always talk about. So many families, we get to hear from so many families from out of state who are able to keep up with Oklahoma football 
high school football, their respective teams, their relatives who play. You know, thanks to your view and Cox and now YouTube, makes a big difference. But Randy Carson checking us out from Arizona. Nine yard run from Green. Thanks for tuning in, Randy. And that'll be a second down. They make up the penalty yards plus four more. Green has also had a pretty solid night lining himself up to be our forward player of the game. 155 yards on 10 carries, average on about 15 and a half. That's 15 and a half a carry, isn't it? Or, yeah. That's pretty good, Rob. Yeah, that's a decent day at the office. Green again, that time slowed down by the Jinx defense. The Trojans had quite a bit of momentum in that first half, and then again, as we talked about the second half adjustments, those halftime adjustments that Union made. To slow down Will Cox and the Jinx offense. Cox had 188 yards total offense in that first half. You have to be impressed with what he was able to do for his team. Third down and six. Play clock at six. Plenty of time for Geneva to get the snap off. Quick pass, caught, and finally knocked out of bounds. That's Jonathan Edwards with the catch. And there's a flag though in the backfield. Great. And we talked about Jonathan Edwards and his, his speed and what he brings. But another outstanding young man. Jinx, so 15 free yards. You know, we called Edwards. There's actually a Caleb Kaleo for Union that plays defense, also wears number eight. So if we got those guys mixed up, we apologize. But Edwards is the one on offense. And yeah. And John there was a 5'8", you know, senior. And, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, so many great young men, but he's an outstanding young man. You know, coaches rave about him, love. Love him as a coach. I love him as a coach to be able to coach players like him. You see his effort and energy that he brings that can be contagious. So he's had a big game here tonight. Green. First down carry of two yards, and it's another roller weight loss and advanced surgery. First down for Union on that last play. And it's now second down as he picked up two, so it'll be a second eight. Plenty of time on the play clock, down to 12 seconds for the Union offense. Jinx needs to get some type of stop here if they want to have any hope of winning this football game. They've won both games against Union a year ago. In green. Nice play defensively. Tyson Ward, linebacker, comes up to make the play. Green spun around, but all that means is another 40 seconds of running off the clock. Take another look. Watch him come. Great pursuit. Breaks down. Holds on tight for the ride. And able to bring him down. Jinx won this game a year ago, 20 to 7. And then in the state semifinals, beat Union 27-24 on a last second touchdown. As time expired, they crossed into the end zone. One second on the play clock. Geneva throws it downfield into double coverage. Incomplete. Stops the clock. Officials together. I'm not, is there, I don't know if there's a flag. There is a flag on the field. Far side. It looks like it's going to be against Union. be a 
fourth down. Two forty two to go in this one. And Union on fourth down. Fourth and eight. Low snap. Geneva does not get away from the Jinx defense, and he is sacked. And in to make the sack that time, Tyson Ward. Another tackle by number 33. And the Redskins turn it over on downs. Geneva loses yards on that play. Jinx will have two and a half minutes to get two scores out of this one. Have to get a touchdown, an onside kick, and then a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Cox on first down. Stuffed right at the line of scrimmage and nowhere for him to go. Defense strong again. Cox has pretty much carried the load for this Jinx offense tonight. Maybe just a little, little fatigue as he has carried the ball 27 times. Fakes the pass. Tries to break away. Again, corralled right around the line of scrimmage. Josh Frederick, the tackle, the senior linebacker and the son of the head football coach of the Union Redskins. A minute and a half to go. Third and eight for Jinx. At this point, they do not look like they're in that big of a hurry to put points on the board. again looking downfield had a receiver open and just underthrew him intended for Justin Murphy and it'll be a fourth down for Jinx 63 seconds left in this one Don't forget to hang around for the trophy presentation, the Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl trophy presentation. And Union will take it back from Jinx. Cox goes to the right side and gets a couple of yards, but not enough for a first down. And he will turn it over. Union won this game back in. 2017, 59 to 40. And then Jinx swept both games last year. So Union will reclaim the trophy. And Jinx will have to regroup. They'll have two weeks to get ready for Broken Arrow and to determine if they want to insert one of their young quarterbacks or continue to play Will Cox at that position as the season goes along through district play. This union will take a couple of knees. Redskins only have 10 players on the field right now. Looking for another offensive lineman to get out there. Got to have five guys on the line. Play clock down to two. They barely get the snap off. Geneva takes a knee. And they'll have to snap it one more time and Union will pick up their first victory of the season.
Coach Fred. Get a chance to talk to him after this one. And our player of the game, looking at A.J. Green, who wrapped up with 149 yards on the ground. Uh, correction, 155 yards on the ground tonight. There's Geneva, takes one more snap and a final knee, and then a penalty. A little frustration from one of the Jinx players. And Union also gets involved in it, gets called for the penalty. Senior offensive lineman Jake Henry got called for the 15-yard penalty. Won't matter. They wind the clock. And that'll do it. Both teams now one and two as you take a look at A.J. Green. Union with the 35 to 20 win over Jinx. The 16th annual Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl. The Redskins pick up their first win of the season. Jinx loses back to back games after falling to Bixby a week ago. And Union held the Trojans scoreless here in the second half. Uh, they put three touchdowns in the board, two offensively and one from their defense. <laughs> Union just his fourth win in this series in the last 13 games. Both teams meeting on the field. This game normally played on the campus of the University of Tulsa at Chapman Stadium. But this year they moved it here for two reasons. Because there's a college football game. Tulsa and Oklahoma State tomorrow afternoon. And the other reason is this will be the last year of this stadium as they know it. Well, this stands on this west side are being torn down at the end of the conclusion of this season. So Union wanted to get one final game in here with Jinx. Before they put up the new stands with a brand new press box. Heading into 2019. We take a look with the. We'll take a break. We were hoping to get the trophy presentation, but we'll catch that when we come back. You're watching the Ford Game of the Week on your view. You're watching Game Time on your view. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Our tradition for my football team is we dress up, shirt and tie. I had a tie, but I didn't know how to tie it. Usually I would have my dad help me, but he was deployed. I'm thinking, don't worry about it, my grandma should know. He says, can you tie a tie? And I'm like, no, but we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. I recognize them because they came into our store so much. Miss Bertha and Mr. Terrence, I'm like, of course, I'll help them out and show them how to tie a tie. It wasn't just the tie, it's what was in your heart. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Doing good, man. You got it. <laughs> Drive a new Ford F-150 today with 8,000 total savings plus 1,000 cash for first responders. Hurry into your Oklahoma Ford dealer. I don't want to be a bother, but did you pick up my meds today? I'm all out. I really need them now. Okay, thank you. I love you. It's okay to need a little help. Amata Senior Care can be an answer. Our mission is to enrich seniors' lives by helping them live safely in their own homes and give them support as they continue to pursue their favorite activities. For a more independent life, contact Amata Senior Care or visit us online today. 
You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Oh, well, he got it. Thanks a lot, Ziggs. Join him now with the Ford player of the game, a man, A.J. Green. And, A.J., big game. You had some outstanding runs. Talk about getting this win and what it means for your team to win the Backyard Bowl. Getting this win means a lot. Being the 0-2 starting the season, we didn't start how we wanted to, but we're going to keep fighting and we're going to get to where we need to be by now. We need to keep rolling and keep the same energy that we're playing with right now. Coming out, playing well. Your offensive line seemed to really do a good job. Talk about what they do for you and what you do to get in that end zone. The offensive line does so much. I literally just find the hole that they make for me and run through it. They do so much for us, and I'm very grateful for my offensive line, and they did a good job tonight. Well, you do an outstanding job, and, hey, good luck on the rest of the season. We'll be looking for you. Sure you have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, A.J. Green right there. He is the player of the game. Let's bring in Coach. You can stay here, A.J. Coach, hey, talk about this young man right here getting it done for you. Just talk about his play and the young man he is. You know, a, a, you know, a year ago he didn't get a ton of reps at running back. Helped us out on the defensive side of the ball, and uh, he's getting better and better with every rep. And uh, we've challenged him to try to become a, a tailback that can carry this team. He did that tonight. Well, Coach, talk about we said the adjustments that you would have to make in halftime. Seemed like you guys did a tremendous job really settling in on Will Cox at that quarterback position with Jinx. What was the difference in that second half for you guys to come away with the win? Well, I think uh, we told our guys to quit playing tentative. You know, we were a little bit, uh, our guys were a little bit confused, obviously, with the new offense. Just attack and play football the way you're supposed to. Michael Walker had a big game. Uh, we moved him. Uh, uh, to a different position defensively, and I think that kind of settled it down. And then really proud of JoJo Nichols. You know, a year ago in the semifinals, you know, he was the safety that, that was just uh, barely missed that, that, uh, that big play that Jinx was able to go down the field. And so he's able to come back this senior year and have a big uh, return for a touchdown. So proud of him. Getting that first win, what kind of momentum do you take in the rest of the season from this game? Feels really good, I'll tell you that. I told our kids it's been 310 days since Union won a football game, so uh, <laughs> it gets kind of lonely at times, but really proud of our guys. We're excited about how far we've come in the first three games, and uh, we'll have this bye week, and we'll get ready for district play. Well, Coach, outstanding job. Congratulations on winning the backyard bowl, and good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Good job, A.J. Thank you, thank you. All right, A.J. Green, Coach Frederick, getting it done for the Redskins. Back up to you, Zig. All right, thanks a lot, Rod. Appreciate it. Congrats to Coach Fred and, of course, A.J. as well as our Ford play, player of the game. And we also have a Ford play of the game. And Jinx. So the player of the game, A.J. Green had a big night. Second player of the game from scrimmage. 62-yard touchdown run. Finished the night with 155 yards rushing on 13 carries. And then he would also add a 58-yard touchdown run right before the half brought Union within 20 to 14. And he is your player of the game. Had a solid second half as well as Union ran some ball control and scored a couple of offensive touchdowns. And here's our Chick-fil-A play of the game. Jinx was marching down the field, trying to take the lead back from Union inside the five-yard line. Handoff. Rodgers never got it. Ball kicked. And JoJo Nichols, the man Kirk Frederick was just talking about, scoop and score from 90. Nobody's going to touch him. Watch the young man all the way to the end zone. The senior cornerback. Untouched. Union would never look back at that point. It was 28-20. Redskins go on to win it 35-20. That is your Chick-fil-A play of the game. JoJo Nichols, a 90-yard fumble return.
final check of the stats in tonight's football game and some crazy numbers for both of these teams. Wilcox played quarterback for Jinx, pretty much carried the load for the Trojans in the first half. As Jinx had 197 yards offense in that first half. Union just 62 yards overall passing. 205 rushing, Jinx 169 on the ground and 115 yards passing. Don't forget, next Thursday, the Ford game of the week, we're going to be in Norman. More Lions will be at Harv Collins Field to take on the Norman Tigers. More Norman games are always a blast. That is Thursday night at 7, more Norman, Ford game of the week. And then next Friday night, we've got a doubleheader. Also from the west side, Santa Fe will take on Norman. We'll go to Norman to take on the Norman North Timberwolves. That's on Channel 3 and on Channel 93, the Vertigris, Vertigris Cardinals host the Stillwell Indians. Game time kickoff for both of those are 7 o'clock. For Rod Thompson, Mike Davis, and the rest of our crew, I'm Mike Ziegenhorn. So long from Union Tunnel Stadium in Tulsa. Redskins win it 35-20, your final score. The Ford Game of the Week is being brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Visit your best in Oklahoma Ford dealers for the best deals on Ford's full line of vehicles. Ford is the best in Oklahoma. Weoki Federal Credit Union, proud sponsors of the Weoki Kick for Cash. Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. Roller weight loss and advanced surgery. Your best you starts here. The Plaza at Town Square by Michaela Holmes. Love where you live. And by Cox, bringing us closer. Archie.